Hey guys, welcome to another video. So today we are still in Germany and I need to charge up to get home tomorrow. So I thought I would try the Ionity charger. So now that we have the CCS adapter and it is finally working, let's see if we can get some better charge rates and less fluctuating charge rates than uh, the ones I've been getting with the superchargers lately. Um, I have about 60 kilometers left, which is uh, roughly around 14-15% of battery. I've been driving for 27 minutes. Uh, I uh, accelerated quite heavily a couple of times and decelerated for the regen to heat the battery up as much as possible I could do on this short trip. And uh, yeah, let's see what numbers we are getting. Okay, so first impression that I'm getting from the Ionity charger is that the ramp up is still happening, but it is going really slow. It went to like 65 and now in a couple of minutes I'm only at 78, but I'm like 3 minutes in the charge. It's at 1 hour, now it's down to 55 minutes, which is uh, close to what I would get at a supercharger as a time estimate. So I'm hoping that the ramp up will still continue and we'll get over 100 kilowatts. Now, the outside temperature currently is 14 degrees Celsius. And I haven't been driving that long. I try to warm up the battery as much as possible, as I mentioned before. But uh, yeah, right now, it's not going to be the best situation or the most ideal situation to start the charge. But still, we are uh, increasing until 85 kilowatts at the moment, 86 now, so steadily we're getting there. Um, the dash says I'm getting 245 amps at 358 volts. Um, so the amps are still rising at the moment, and that means that my kilowatts are rising as well. So let's see where we end up in a few minutes. So as you can see, I've been charging for about 10 minutes now and uh, the car says I'm at a steady 104. The charger is fluctuating between 104 and 105 at the moment, but I'm still not seeing anything close to 120. And these are the same numbers that I'm seeing with uh, my supercharging speeds. So right now the amperage is 280, the voltage 374, and it is staying steady like that. It's nice to charge at these speeds because for me that means that Ionity provides additional superchargers and I traded the Chademo in for uh, the CCS. So I sold the Chademo and took the money to do the CCS upgrade. Um, but yeah, I'm still not uh, getting the results that I was hoping for that maybe I would get higher than 120 kilowatts or closer than 120 kilowatts. So it seems that somehow my battery pack is limited to around 105 or 106 kilowatts. Right, so we're well 16 minutes into the charge and it's already starting to drop. So the maximum that I've seen is 106, um, which is, as I said, not what I hope for. But the good thing is that uh, the charge is not fluctuating like it has been on the superchargers lately so that means that the problem that I have with the fluctuating charge is uh, related to the supercharger alone. Now right now we're already going down to around 100 kilowatts at uh, 40 percent. Um, at the supercharger I used to be able to charge above 100 kilowatts all the way up to 60 percent until a couple of months ago so yeah, I uh, don't have an idea what is going on at the moment. Um, the voltage, 383, amperage is going down to uh, 260, that was higher. I also see this uh, light at, uh, on the top is flashing uh, red and green and then back to blue sometimes. I have no idea what it means, uh, but the charge is still going on and the session is not stopped. So yeah, let's uh, wait a little bit, but it seems like I'm getting the same charge rates and charging times. Sorry for the truck that's passing by right now. 
seems like I'm getting the same charge rates and charging times that I have with the supercharger which is uh, fine by me I just would like it to be higher like everybody else is getting all right 25 minutes into the charge and we are down to 77 kilowatts um, the car is telling me that it will still take half an hour to charge so that would be the 55 minutes that it gave initially um, charge is still going down so at the supercharger until several weeks ago I was still charging above 100 kilowatts um, I'm gonna try to compare it to the supercharging I will do tomorrow when the battery is warm also but by now uh, the battery should be warm of course and uh, let's see how far this will drop further down the process we are now 48 minutes into the charge and it still says 15 minutes so I'll be here an hour instead of 55 minutes to charge up from about 14-15% to 90% and right now we are charging at only 44 kilowatts which is close to what I would be seeing at the supercharger so I think I can conclude that the CCS charging uh, combined with Ionity is giving me more or less the same results as supercharging but as mentioned uh, my supercharging speeds are uh, relatively low lately and I'm not seeing the 120 plus kilowatts that uh, everybody else is uh, apparently seeing even with older cars I just uh, read a, f a message from a friend of mine who has a Model X and bought it around the same time that I did and he was uh, charging at that moment at 141 kilowatts so those are numbers I can only dream of uh, at the moment but yeah so 42 kilowatts uh, right now when we're at 80% uh, more or less um, still 10% to go 15 minutes to go and I'm expecting it to go down a little bit more to like 35 maybe in that uh, time frame we are at 90% now and it took us one hour and six minutes to get there so I'm charging up a little bit more now because tomorrow morning I have to do a demo with a couple of my Aikido friends they've asked about that so I'm charging up a little bit more so I can make sure that I have about 90% charge uh, in the car when we do the ludicrous launch with the guys so that should be fun as well I'm really tired right now so I'm going to charge up for a couple more minutes and then I'm uh, heading back to the hotel getting some good night's sleep uh, maybe yeah, I'll sleep in maybe half an hour more than I would like but uh, tomorrow there's another training and then we need to drive home for uh, about seven hours seven hours and a half depending on traffic and weather of course because it is starting to rain but right now I'm happy with the Ionity charger it is for me the same experience as a supercharger so that means that I've got an additional supercharger networker at my disposal with the Ionity charger so that's definitely good so as usual if you like the video don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to click that little bell icon so you don't miss out on any new videos and for now thanks for watching see you guys next time bye bye